Welcome to Displore and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall be presenting the 12 African Nobel Peace Prize winners. The Nobel Peace Prize is one of the five Nobel Prizes established by a Swedish industrialist, inventor and armament manufacturer, Alfred Nobel. Along with the prizes in chemistry, physics, physiology or medicine and literature. Since March 1901, the winner is selected by the Norwegian Nobel Committee. The award is given to whoever has done the best or the most for fraternity between nations, for the abolition and reduction of standing armies and for the holding and promotion of peace congresses. Since the inception of the award in 1901, about 25 Africans have won the award but in the category for peace which is our bone of contention, only 12 Africans have won. The first person from Africa to win the Nobel Prize was Max Taylor, a South African man who won in the category of physiology or medicine in 1951. Six years later, the famed absurdist philosopher and author Albert Camus won the Nobel Prize in Literature. Camus was French and so many people assumed he was born in France, but in fact he was born, raised and educated in French Algeria. Both Taylor and Camus had emigrated out of Africa at the time of their award, thereby making Albert Lutuli the first person to be awarded the Nobel Prize for work completed in Africa. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Without any further ado, here are the top 12 African Nobel Peace Prize winners. Number 12. Abi Ahmed Ali, Ethiopia Abi Ahmed Ali is an Ethiopian politician serving as the fourth Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia since April 2, 2018. In 2019, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts to achieve peace and international cooperation, and in particular for his decisive initiative to resolve the border conflicts with neighboring Eritrea. The prize is also meant to recognize all the stakeholders working for peace and reconciliation in Ethiopia and in the East and Northeast African regions. When Abiy Ahmed Ali became Prime Minister in April 2018, he made it clear that his wish was to resume peace talks with Eritrea. In close cooperation with Isaiah Afwerki, the President of Eritrea, Abiy Ahmed Ali quickly worked out the principles of a peace agreement to end the long no peace no war stalemate between the two countries. These principles are set out in the declaration that Prime Minister Abiy and President Afwerki signed in Asmara and Jeddah last July and September. Number 11. Denis Mukwege, Democratic Republic of Congo Denis Mukwege is a Congolese gynecologist and Pentecostal pastor. He founded and worked in Panzi Hospital in Bukavu, where he specializes in the treatment of women who've been raped by armed rebels. In 2018, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts to end the use of sexual violence as a weapon of war and armed conflict. Mukwege have made a crucial contribution in focusing attention on and combating such war crimes. Mukwege in his way has helped to give greater visibility to wartime sexual violence such that the prosecutors can be held accountable for their actions. Dennis Mukwege is the foremost most unifying symbol, both nationally and internationally, of the struggle to end sexual violence in war and armed conflicts. Number 10. National Dialogue Quartet, Tunisia The National Dialogue Quartet is a group of four organizations that were central in the attempt to build a plurality democracy in the wake of a revolution in Tunisia in 2011. The quartet is made up of the Tunisian General Labor Union, the Tunisian Confederation of Industry, Trade and Handicraft, the Tunisian Human Rights League and the Tunisian Order of Lawyers. The group succeeded in creating a peaceful dialogue. Through a mediation role, the quartet allowed political and religious divides to be breached and a democratic development followed. They were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for their decisive contribution to the building of a pluralistic democracy in Tunisia in the wake of the Jasmine Revolution in 2011. Number 9. Lima Boer, Liberia Lima Boer is a woman's rights champion and she received the Nobel Prize jointly with her president alongside Tawakol Kaman from Yemen. During the civil war that ravaged Liberia, Boer called together women from different ethnic groups and religious groups in the fight for peace. Dressed in white t-shirts, they held daily demonstrations at the fish market in Monrovia. 
She led a delegation of Liberian women to Ghana to put pressure on the wearing factors during the peace talk process. This played a decisive role in ending the war. Lima Bowe also worked to help those who suffered psychological trauma during the civil war in Liberia. Number 8. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, Liberia Liberia's former president was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2011 alongside peace activists Lima Bowe and Tawaku Kama for their non-violent struggle for the safety of women and women's right to full participation in peace-building works. Sirleaf was elected as Liberia's president in 2005, just two years after the bloody war that ravished the country for more than a decade. As the first female head of state ever to be democratically elected in Africa, she has worked to promote peace and reconciliation and social and economic development. Number 7. Mohamed El Baradei, Egypt Mohamed El Baradei, Director General of the International Atomic Agency, received the Nobel Peace Prize jointly with the UN nuclear watchdog. The award was given for their efforts to prevent nuclear energy from being used for military purposes and to ensure that nuclear energy for peace purposes was used in the safest possible way. The Nobel Committee noted that El Baradei had done much in strengthening the International Atomic Energy Agency as an organization and the increasing accession to the nuclear non-proliferation regime. Mohamed El Baradei was born in Cairo in 1942. Before becoming the head of the International Atomic Energy Agency, he had worked for a number of years as an Egyptian diplomat and in the United Nations. Number 6. Wangari Matai, Kenya Wangari Matai, environmentalist and founder of the Green Belt Movement, received the Nobel Peace Prize in 2004 for her contribution to sustainable development, democracy and peace. The Nobel Committee acknowledged her efforts in standing up courageously against the former oppressive regime in Kenya. Her unique forms of action contributed to drawing attention to political oppression, nationally and internationally. They turned her as an inspiration for many in the fight for democratic rights and especially an encouragement to women. Born in 1940, Wangari Matai was the first woman from Africa to be honored with the Nobel Peace Prize. Number 5. Kofi Annan, Ghana In 2001, Ghana's Kofi Annan, the then UN Secretary, was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, jointly with the United Nations for their works for a better organized and more peaceful world. Kofi Annan was born in Ghana in 1938. He served as the 7th Secretary General of the United Nations from January 1997 to December 2006. He received the Peace Prize for having revitalized the United Nations and for having given priority to human rights. Number 4. Frederick William de Klerk, South Africa F.W. de Klerk was South Africa's president during apartheid. After assuming power in 1989, he called for a non-racist South Africa and announced his policy of reform. He hoped to create a suitable climate for negotiation which would end apartheid and bring about a new constitutional dispensation for South Africa based on the principle of one person, one vote. He then lifted the ban on the ANC and released Nelson Mandela. After the release of Mandela, negotiations together with other party leaders were held for a peaceful end of apartheid and transition to democratic rule. He was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993 together with Nelson Mandela for their efforts to bring reforms in South Africa. Number 3. Nelson Mandela, South Africa Nelson Mandela, one of the most celebrated human rights symbols of the 20th century, is a man whose dedication to the liberty of his people inspired human rights advocates throughout the world. Nelson Mandela was born in 1918. In 1950, he was elected leader of the youth wing of the ANC Liberation Movement. When the country's white minority government prohibited the ANC in 1960, Mandela became convinced that armed struggle was inevitable. Inspired by the guerrilla war in Algeria and Cuba, he organized a military underground movement that engaged in sabotage. In 1962, he was arrested and sentenced to life imprisonment for high treason and conspiracy against the state. From 1964 to 1982, he was confined to the notorious prison in Ruben Island, together with several other resistance leaders. He was then moved to a prison in Mainland until his release in 1990. After the release, Mandela intensified his battle against oppression. 
He was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993 jointly with the then president, Frederick William Leclerc, for their works for a peaceful termination of the apartheid regime and for laying the foundation for a new democratic South Africa. Mandela became South Africa's democratically elected president in 1994, an office he held until 1999 when he retired. Number 2. Desmond Tutu, South Africa. Desmond Tutu is a world-renowned preacher, human rights activist, and a strident voice against apartheid. The retired Anglican bishop won the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts in resolving and ending apartheid in South Africa. Known as the voice of the voiceless black South African, he was an outspoken critic of apartheid. Tutu supported the economic boycott of South Africa while constantly encouraging reconciliation between various factors associated with apartheid. He was born in 1931 in South Africa. He went on to become the first black Anglican bishop of both Cape Town and Johannesburg. He has traveled extensively, championing human rights and equality of all people, both within South Africa and internationally. He has also focused on drawing awareness to issues such as poverty, eight unknown democratic governments in the third world. Number 1. Albert Lutuli, South Africa Albert Lutuli was the first African and the first person from outside of Europe and the Americas to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Lutuli was awarded the prestigious award in 1960 for his role in championing the non-violence resistance to racial discrimination in South Africa. The Nobel Committee described Lutuli as a man of noble bearing, charitable, intolerant to hatred and adamant to his demand for equality and peace among all men. Lutuli was inspired by Mahatma Gandhi's philosophy of non-violence. He was born in 1898 and was elected president of the African National Congress in 1952. During his acceptance speech, Lutuli noted that the award was the recognition of sacrifice made by many of all races, particularly the African people who had endured and suffered for long. There you have it, Desplorers. Those were the top African Nobel Peace Prize winners. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, do all to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.